church was born 2,000 years ago when Jesus commissioned his disciples to spread the gospel, or good news, to the ends of the earth. Jesus told them he was inaugurating a new kingdom of truth and grace, where the last would be first and the first would be last. Jesus spent a lot of time feeding the hungry, healing the sick. Jesus prayed that the love between his followers, their unity, would define his church. He prays that we would be one. Five times he says one, 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 one. And then he finally says that they be brought to complete oneness. That unity, however, never came easily. From the beginning, there were factions, heretics, and breakaway movements. A millennium and a half later, the church is divided into rival Eastern Orthodox and Western Catholic factions. In the 11th century, they excommunicated each other. Uh, so if the East is right, everybody in the West is bound for hell, excommunicated. By the 16th century, what we now call the Roman Catholic Church is seen as greedy and corrupt, up for sale to the highest bidder. Most people in Europe knew that the church needed reform. It's in this setting that an obscure German monk named Martin Luther nails these 95 theses to the door of the Wittenberg Chapel, risking his life as he challenges the church to reform. And it became, if you will, the spark that exploded the powder keg of the abuses of the Roman Catholic Church. Luther's bravery will set off a movement that places Christ's death not church hierarchy at the center of humanity's relationship with God. There are no other mediators between God and man. Uh, Jesus Christ is the loving gift of a loving Father. Yet Luther's actions also set off an unprecedented firestorm that will send Western culture into centuries of turmoil. There's a certain kind of tragic element fighting among Christians that even broke out at times into actual combat. Did it go too far? Those are, those are really hard questions to, to answer. What the Reformation unleashed is an incredible dynamism, and I don't think you can put that genie back in the bottle.